Hey Pisces and Pisces lovers and friends. Welcome back to the Pisces portal. Ooh. <laughs> it's gonna be a general Pisces reading, so it might resonate, it might not. Let's see what we have going on, Pisces. The Ten of Wands. So I feel like there has been something that you've been putting a lot of effort into. Um, and you feel like perhaps the hard work, your diligence, and all of that is going to pay off. But at the same time, Pisces, it's really um, hurting you in some way. Okay, um, it could be physically, but more so mentally and emotionally. I feel like you're doing a lot, but at the same time, you know, it's like, it's it might be for a good cause, but I also feel like you might be a little exhausted too. Yeah, we have the two of pentacles. So you could be working a lot, okay? You might have two jobs or you're just trying to balance work with your education or work with something else that it is that you're trying to accomplish. So you are working really hard and you are trying to stay focused and whatever it is that you're focused on this is something that is beneficial for the long term for the long haul okay really for a lifetime so i can see why you're very um you know adamant about doing as much as you can until you feel successful Wow. Here we have the sun here. And we have the wheel of fortune. You know, Pisces, your hard work is, is going to pay off. Okay? You might be a little exhausted from time to time. But it's going to bring you the happiness that you're hoping for. And I feel like a lot of other little blessings and miracles are going to be um, coming to you if they haven't already while you're on this journey. Like this is all coming together and unfolding um, in divine timing and with precision, okay? So on those days where you feel like you don't know if something is going to work out if something is going to come to completion please know that it will i feel like spirit wants to match um and then some okay the intensity of what it is that you're doing so as much effort as you put in that's as much as spirit is going to give you from what you are doing We have the nine of cups and the full in reverse. Yeah, whatever this is, Pisces, is going to make you feel very successful, okay? Very accomplished. Um, I feel like a lot for a lot of you, this is really about your passion, okay? And living the kind of life that you want to live. Um, <laughs> no longer will you be thought of as the naive person, okay? The foolish person who puts so much time and energy into something that most people thought would be a waste of time or is hard to achieve. 
because you're gonna do it, okay? And you're gonna have all of the, the accolades to prove it, okay? Your aura is gonna change. Like there's gonna be um, so much more joy and liveliness in your spirit. And I feel like you're gonna get to a point where it's like, no one can say anything to you. You know what I mean? It's like, there's nothing for them to say because you're completely satisfied. You've achieved what you wanted to achieve. You know, you got the awards, the plaques, the credentials and everything to prove that I'm not a fool. I knew exactly what I was doing this whole time. And maybe, you know, the path started off rough or there were some moments that were more challenging than others. But ultimately, Pisces, you're going to get there. And the reason why this turned out to be so successful in the first place is because of spirit, spirits guidance and intervention on your journey seven of swords hmm. this is another reason why spirit has been with you on this journey or is with you okay <laughs> because You know, people like to mock and take advantage of people who appear to be um, foolish, someone who appears to be working for something that seems as if there's no end in sight. I also think too, Pisces, that you could have an attitude of Knowing that you're surrounded by people who disapprove of what you may be trying to accomplish, but also, you know, guarding yourself against people who you know um, haven't made something happen for themselves. So anyone who gives off an indication that they could be successful, um, you know, it's like you got to kind of like show them one thing like she is, but know that behind your back, it's like, look, I'm going to keep you up off of me, okay? <laughs> um, so this hasn't been easy. Okay. But spirit is nonetheless with you and protecting you and guiding you either way. And I really don't think that um, anyone can take advantage of you. They might try, but they will be unsuccessful. So we have the six of swords here. Let me get more on. <clears throat> Excuse me. All right, so. Wow, lots of swords, the five, the six, and the seven. You know, again, you've been you've been up against a lot with certain people. And even just within your own mind, okay? Really just trying to um, guard and protect yourself from negativity, the negativity and deception of others. Um but also self-deception as well, okay? Spirit, what's the most likely outcome? So we have strength in reverse. And let's see. Okay, and the Knight of Wands. So I feel like for a lot of you on this journey, you know, you could still be in the beginning or middle stages of trying to get to that finish line, trying to get to the sun and the nine of cups, okay? But 
you really just have to continue to be persistent and try to enjoy the journey. Don't let, um, don't allow yourself to lose your enthusiasm for what it is that you're doing. Okay, because it's all going to work out for you. Okay, you just have to keep your mind focused on the, the end result, on the destination, okay? On the finish line. Take courage with you every step of the way on this journey, but also, you know, take your enthusiasm with you as well. So, Pisces, this has been your reading. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you later. Bye.